What is good, back up singers? It is your boy Joey Sings, and welcome back to my channel for a brand new video. We are diving into part three of the Subway stories, baby, by the odd ones out, and I am ready to get back into it when we get into it. So we ain't got nothing to talk about, baby. I'm Fresh and Play. No more hiding, no more lying. This is me. This is me. Yeah. Alrighty, you guys, so I got Subway Part 3 pulled up, and let's get back into it. You want to know something sad? I've earned more money from the two Subway videos I made about working at Subway than I did actually working at Subway for over a year. Oh, oh dang. So here we go. Subway Part 3, baby. I still got more to say. I used to work there, in case you didn't know that. When I moved out and was all on my own for college, I was feeling a little lonely Coolidge. and homesick. So one Aww. day I decided, hey... I'm going to get some Subway for lunch. Yay. Food that I used to almost eat every day and got for free for over a year, I was going to pay full price for. I just wanted a taste of home. I wasn't expecting Aww. to ever tell this story, but it turns out the employee making my sandwich was a huge idiot. As I was waiting in line, I noticed my favorite sandwich, the Turkey Italiano, wasn't on the menu. The Turkey Italiano, by the way, is the same as the Italian BMT, but instead of ham, you put on turkey. Very Ooh. simple change. I asked the worker, do you guys have the Turkey Italiano? And he said, no. So then I asked, can I get a BMT, but instead of ham, I have turkey? And you know what he said to me? He said, no. I Ooh. don't think I'm asking for too much. I'm that is... To avoid the BMT. First of all, you can do that, okay? Because you can switch out ham for turkey because um that's something that you can do. Ooh, he, uh, uh, I don't like him already, friend. And the turkey Italiano were the same price, okay? And what do you mean, no, you can't put on turkey? Who, get him, friend. Who's stopping you? I that know part. the fact that you don't count the slices of turkey at the end of the night. Just hook me up, please. I'm feeling sad. Okay. So the BMT with all the vegetables because it's more food for the same amount of money and I was a poor college student. And also because screw that guy. Have fun trying to close that sandwich. But then when he was all done, he put my sandwich by the cash register and then he just started helping the next customer and they hadn't even started making their sandwich just ring me up oh so that's that rude and then help the next person but no i had to wait for him to finish this person's sandwich if i wasn't so nice i would have just took the sandwich and walked off but i didn't because i'm so nice i've realized Aww. telling you that story it sounds like i'm one of those customers who complain about everything and say let me talk to your manager but really the whole time i just stood there awkwardly but i think i can complain a little bit me. i used to work at a why is that me Oh my goodness, I am that person. I just stand there awkwardly while in my head I done already cussed you out and told your manager and then cussed him out and then left the stove. You know what I'm saying? That's me. But in real life, I'm just sitting there smiling like, take your time. Oh, no rush. <laughs> no rush. Meanwhile, I was supposed to be at a doctor's appointment three hours ago, okay? I know how things are supposed to work. So, boy, if you're somehow watching this, you need to hire more people. Like me. Speaking of Period. me, when I was working at Subway, I never liked wearing my name tag because when I was Same. making people sandwiches, I hated it when complete strangers would say, Thanks, James. How did you know? Oh, right, the name tag. So I never wore my name tag. I just work at Subway, okay? We don't need to know each know? other on a first name basis. Period. Just take your food. For some reason, I don't like it when strangers know my name. But now that's that's all thrown out the window. This one time a customer came in and for some reason I couldn't help but feel like I'd seen her somewhere before. Her face was so familiar, but I couldn't put my finger on it. So I made her sandwich, I rang her up, she paid for it, and as she grabbed her stuff she said, Yeah, I'm going up to my father's funeral this weekend. After my mother died, he couldn't last that long. Oh, that's why I remember her. She came in last oh. week telling me the same story. What? What are you supposed to say to that? Yeah, that really sucks. I'm just some underpaid sandwich artist with really bad people skills. Did she really not have anyone else to talk to? That just makes it extra sad. Right, I'm extra sad. Really. I'm just kidding. No, I didn't. Luckily, my coworker Corey heard this, and he talked to her, and he was very nice. Corey's a lot better. Oh, yay, nice. Corey. One time I was closing the store, I turned off the open sign, and I was opening the front door to bring in a table and chair from outside. But while I was bringing in the table, these two old guys got out of their car and asked, Are you guys closed? Yep. Is what I would have said if I wasn't so nice. Instead, I said, Ugh, fine. Even though it was past 10, I let them order their sandwiches. When they came in, the 16 year old girl I was working with was not happy. They started apologizing. I know she was so late. Oh, I didn't realize places in Arizona close so early. Blah, blah, blah. We're vampires. And I said, They're vampires. Yes, whatever, just order your sandwiches. And then he said, Can I have three salads? And I actually laughed. <laughs> 
you're being serious. Ooh. I let you in past closing <laughs> and you want three salads? Do you know how many dirty dishes that'll make? Right. Because I was making this guy's three salads and 16-year-old girl was making the other guy's two foot-long sandwiches. A third guy not associated with these two came in. Guess he didn't see the open sign not illuminated. I oh, dang. I finished helping the two old guys and then I started helping the third guy and he asked, what time do you guys close? 15 minutes ago. But after everything was said exactly. the two old guys tipped us $5 and the third guy tipped us $1. Aww. So I mean, between me and the 16-year-old girl, a $3 tip ain't so bad. I actually heard from one of my old co-workers that the husband and wife owners of my old Suabway watched my two other Suabway videos. So... Ooh. They might be watching this one, and I just wanted to say that by letting those three guys in, I showed initiative and was looking out for customer satisfaction. Period. Exactly. Yeah. One time I brought a laser pointer into work because I knew I'd be bored, and I was. Except the boy I was working with was shining it outside at the cars driving by, and I told him not to do that because it's probably stupid, illegal, and really dangerous. Oh my I goodness. In the bathrooms. I saw the laser pointer on the counter, and I said, hey dude, while I'm cleaning the bathrooms, don't shine the laser pointer at the cars. I told him that. When I was all finished cleaning, though, I saw him sitting by the window just shining the laser at the cars. I would have punched him. I wanted to go up to him and say, dude, stop. But then the other part of me thought, I'm not this kid's dad. I told him to stop twice, and he didn't listen. Whatever happens is his problem. He ended up getting fired. Oh, yeah, see now. Said, Let me talk to your manager. And I said, uh, I can give you her phone number. And boom, he, he got fired. I know Aww. I'm the one who burned the laser pointer, but I don't really blame myself for him losing his job. Because it's that not your fault. That's for you to do, kid. Once again, I was the good employee. Yes, you were. I didn't show that much initiative that time, though. So before I worked at Suaboy, I liked to go to this taco place and get the same thing every time, the carne asada fries. Later, I learned that the Ooh. carne asada fries are 2,000 calories. That was the only thing I ever got at this taco Oh, wow. Place. And I used to be super self-conscious, thinking, man, these employees must think I'm so weird coming in getting the same thing over and over. <laughs> but then when I worked at Suaboy, I learned, ha! Nope, fast food employees don't care about you or your order. Unless you're mean to them or tell them that you're going to your dad's funeral, fast food employees will not remember you. One they time won't. someone came in and told me, I'll have the usual. And I said, I've literally never seen you before in my entire life. I didn't really say that. If any of you are working at a really slow subway, here are some fun games for you to play. Cut up a loaf of bread into small pieces and make a mini sandwich with one meat and three different vegetables. Give it to your coworker and have them eat it without looking. Then they have to guess what's on the sandwich. And that's Ooh. it. You can set up a point system, like they get one point for every ingredient they get right. Also, you can do the same game by mixing up two sodas and have them guess. You can walk into the freezer and see how long you can last. My record's an hour. You can bring in some vanilla ice cream and just make all sorts of stuff with that. You can make root beer floats. You can take two cookies and put ice cream between them and make a cookie ice cream sandwich. 16-year-old <laughs> girl made this thing. I think it was called a kazuki. You put cookie dough Wait. in a bowl and then you cooked it, but not all the way. And then you put ice cream on top of it and it was super good. You can make nachos and bread bowls and we wasted a lot of food. I still don't know I should be working with you. Italiano. I mean, at my Suaboy, we made bread bowls and nachos. Okay, all right. Here's my favorite Suaboy I love it. besides pastrami. The pastrami is good, but it's expensive. So the next best thing, aka what I usually get, is the turkey Italiano on wheat bread and provolone cheese. And whenever I made mine, I would put on extra meat and extra cheese. So I guess if you want to recreate my sandwich, you have to get double meat and double Ooh. cheese. Which, if you ask me, is the standard amount of cheese and meat you should put on the sub. Toast it, obviously. Look and then the you put all the vegetables on besides banana peppers and jalapenos and only a little bit of pickles. So actually, I did ask the first guy to put on all the vegetables. Not out of revenge, but because I actually like all the vegetables on my sub. Dude. Then a little bit of mayo. They normally put on so much mayo. Just ask for one Ooh. stripe. And then the same amount of mustard mustard and then some oil vinegar salt and pepper and then wrap that puppy up and i was going to insult a sandwich that suaboy has but if suaboy is ever going to hire me as their new spokesperson because they need one i can't be insulting one of their sandwiches in a video it was the meatball the meatball's a horrible sandwich okay there are good meatball marinara sandwiches out there I love it's just it. the ones at suaboy are dumb i do want to say something about dumb. the plushies i know i said in the last video that they're going to be out by christmas but that look didn't at the fan art already. but as of right now they have shipped already and you should have gotten a confirmation email I'm so if you haven't obsessed. gotten yours they should be arriving very very soon is what i'm saying thanks for watching happy good way to start out the new year and wear your seatbelt. <laughs> I love it. It's just like the end of Jaden's video. I just love watching the fan art go by. That is so cool. And um, yes, I love this video, honey. Period.
Alrighty, you guys, there you have it. Meet Rick to the Odd Ones Out, baby. Subway Part 3. And I can relate. Everything that he is talking about, I know about, baby, because I used to work at Subway, except for the bread bowl. I ain't never made no bread bowl, but I definitely did the nachos. And I used to do the ice cream sandwiches, too, because our mine was right next to a little flash foods, a gas station. And it was the Domino's on the other side, baby. Listen, we used to be swapping food and all, baby. Period. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up. And then leave me a comment down below letting me know what you guys thought about this video. Video. As well as let me know if you go to Subway, what is your Subway order, honey? Let's talk about it. Period. Alrighty, guys, don't forget to smash that subscribe button as well as hit that bell to be notified when I upload brand new videos like this. That is also how you become a backup singer, honey. Period. I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Deuces.